Welcome crypto traders and long-term hodlers. Today I'm here with Cardano, ticker code ADA. This is the people's coin. I talk about this coin a few times on my channel talking about how this has a really big cult following. A lot of people really love Charles and the team there and really call this the uh, Ethereum killer and things like that. Now, as you can see on a chart, it has been hit pretty damn hard. But what I'm looking at ADA is a short-term possible trade. And I wanted to do this quickly out there for you guys and give you guys some profit targets and some stop losses and compare them against Bitcoin and Ethereum just to see how strong Cardano is at the moment because it's looking pretty strong. But keep in mind when I talk about Cardano, I really mean this in a short term trade perspective. We are still very much in a bear market cycle. So these trades can go against you quite quickly, quite aggressively. So any coin that I give on the channel, I will give stop losses in place because uh, stop losses are a very, very important component of crypto trading, especially because you can wake up one day and these cryptos go against you 20, 30%. So make sure that you place your stop losses and have your profit targets before you get into the trade. Again, this is trading. Long term, we don't know where Cardano is going to be. If you believe Cardano is going to be worth $10 one day, then this video shouldn't really be that informative to you because no video will. Who can predict where Cardano is going to be in 10 years? Crypto could be in a very different story. So I'm just talking about in the coming days potentially weeks, but most likely in the coming days, that's the time frame I'm looking at for Cardano. So one of the things that made Cardano look really, really strong was we had increasing volume on the 31st of May, the breakout, which got us to about 68 cents, as you can see here. And then we had the pullback and it bounced perfectly off the 50%. So that is basically right here at 54 cents, just using round numbers and perfect bounce off of it. What I look for when I use the 50% target, big shout out to Jason and Michael Pizzino for talking about the 50%. They work really, really well. We can just see how well it worked, just a perfect bounce off. What you're looking for is the bounce off. Now, sure, maybe you could have broken through this 50% and there's your stop loss trigger. That can happen. But we're just trying to do probabilities, right? We're trying to think of a system that is going to protect us and ensure us that we're not going to take too much of a hit. And already with ADA, we're already about, you know, three, four percent up already. So we'll see how things play out for the day. What I really like about ADA is that we bounce off the 50% really well. But what I'm looking for is us to have another rally at this high that we had with the double top playing out at 68 cents. So maybe a potential trade at the moment is you buy it there at 56 cents and there's your high at 68 cents and there's your 20% profit, give or take a few cents, depending on how strict you want to go. Maybe you want to put your profit target at 66 cents there and you know, call it, what is that? That's about a 17% profit. In a bear market, that's what you take, that's what you can get, and you're pretty happy with that. Now again, maybe you're a long-term hodler and whatever, but everyone's expecting more lows to continue. I'll maybe do a market update talking about how the market's looking a little bit uneasy moving forward. The next GDP is gonna end at the end of June, so pay attention to America's announcement if we get a technical recession. But what I'm looking at right now with ADA is increasing volume. So we had increasing volume going from 20th of May up until basic 31st of May. We had the pullback on decent volume, high open, low close. The next day, bounce off it, low open, and hopefully we had a strong close. We still got a long time left of the day. We have 20 hours and 30, 28 minutes left of the day. So where would I place my stop loss for Cardano? Well, basically I'd place my stop loss somewhere around here, and that would basically give me a buffer of around nine to call it 10% loss that I'm willing to endure. That basically tucks it right under these lows here that you saw and gives a little bit of a buffer. Should it break these levels, then we're probably not too far from the 27th low. It's not to say you can't maybe do a bit of a fake out or a dip, stop loss gets triggered, and there you go up, maybe a rejection. But at the moment, we're just trying to protect ourselves from more losses because people would have been saying, buy ADA, you know, buy the dip, buy the dip. And it just would have kept dipping and dipping and dipping. So that's why we use stop losses because it, once a stop loss saves you from really big losses that you would have incurred, that's when you start to really thank the stop loss and you'll start using it more frequently. So always have a stop loss in place. So there's your stop loss. There's your profit target. Again, do I think ADA is a good DCA in coin to start getting into dollar cost averaging? How much lower is it going to go into? The honest answer is I don't know, and I would not be doing it personally. Uh, I talk a lot on my channel about Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. I think they're very good to dollar cost averaging at the moment because they're actually really good prices. They can maybe fall in between 10 to 20% more from where it is at the moment, but your your reward is you know anywhere between 100 to 150% if you think Bitcoin and ETH are gonna get to their all-time high again. That's very attractive. ADA, we don't know if it's gonna get to its all-time high again. Maybe not. I mean, I know it sounds really crazy to think that, but you never know. It's so far from its all-time high, it's broken down so much. And that's why I say this is just a short-term trade. So 400 and basically 50% has to go up to get to its all-time high again. So if you wanna play those probabilities and you believe it, that's your investment decision, by all means, go for it. But I'm just making this video just to show a stop loss where I don't want to see ADA go, where I would take some profits and where, and because this is looking pretty good in terms of the volume. Let's have a look at Cardano against this Bitcoin and ETH value just to solidify our investment decision that it is a strong crypto. So here we are on Coin Codex. I have pinged all of these values to its Bitcoin value. I normally ping these to its ETH value, but since Bitcoin has been outperforming ETH, as you can see, ETH is down compared to Bitcoin. 
I've decided to ping these values to Bitcoin. If a coin can't outperform Bitcoin, you're better off just buying Bitcoin or Ethereum. But right now, Bitcoin is the strongest crypto. And you can see how many cryptos are bleeding out to Bitcoin at the moment. So you're better off DCing, DCAing into Bitcoin than buying some of these alts. So let's have a look at ADA and see if it's stronger than Bitcoin. So you can see in the past 24 hours, it's down compared to Bitcoin by 0.23%, negligible, less than a percent. However, in the last seven days, it's outperforming Bitcoin by about 10%, which is very, very good. One month, they're underperforming to Bitcoin by 6%. So it's not bad. The higher time frames, you can see it's getting crushed by Bitcoin. We're just really looking at the shorter time frames because this is just a trade. We want it to outperform Bitcoin. We want it to outperform Ethereum. Otherwise, like I said, you can just buy into those and get better returns. Let's have a look at Cardano against its Bitcoin and ETH value on a chart. So here we have Cardano against its Ethereum value. Like I said, you're better off just buying Ethereum because you can see Cardano has had a tough time holding value against its ETH value. So you can see we're still getting to those lows that we had in February, 2021. So when anyone says this is the ETH killer, be aware of that. I mean, everyone's talking about it being an ETH killer here. Everyone's talking about it being an ETH killer here. But like a lot of old altcoins, long, long, long-term hodl coins, it's 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 always tough to for me to to agree with that choice of hodling these altcoins because look at them, they just get decimated by ETH and Bitcoin. And ETH's actually underperforming at the moment. So this is going to look much worse when we go to the Bitcoin chart. But at the moment, you can see a bit of a bounce up against its ETH value. You can see perfect, perfect close above its 50% against its ETH value. Shot up, there's your pullback. You can see the pullback against its ETH value didn't look as bad as the USD value. And again, that just comes down to ETH underperforming at the moment and ADA outperforming ETH in the short term. There's your breakout, there's your pullback and already going up against its ETH value. If we have a look at its Bitcoin value, you can see here, there's the perfect bounce off the 50%. You can see huge, huge volume and a massive shot up against its Bitcoin value. Again, the test, and now we're up again. So you're looking for that recovery. How bad was the pullback? You get it on the pullback, and now you're going up with the trend. Go with the trend. The trend is your friend. Remember that, always remember that. And there's your profit targets, like I said, at that mark and here and at the top. So about 0.0021 of a Bitcoin. That's gonna do it for this short video. In short, I really like ADA as a potential trade. Like I said, short-term trade, got stop losses in place. Should it break down? Got some profit targets, should it go up? Looking good, has the volume, how's the bounce back? But always, always be careful because in a bear market, these things can go against you quite quickly. So don't get too greedy with the profits. Always use a stop loss and have your profit targets in mind. Don't get greedy. Enjoy your profits and use the profits, in my opinion, to DCA into ETH and Bitcoin because those are super juicy prices at the moment. I hope this video helped. If it did, give me a like, give me a subscribe. But until then, everyone stay safe and I will catch you on the next video.